everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and I'm gonna show you how to make our favorite version of a gas smoothie and then talk about a bunch of other variations that you can do as well. Some of you requested this video and I thought it was a great idea. Smoothies are something that we have all the time. It's a really great tasty way to get in a lot of milk kefir, which is really helpful on the GAPS diet or for just anybody who wants to have lots of friendly bacteria going in them on a regular basis. So I'm gonna show you how we throw together a basic fruit smoothie. There are a lot of different blenders that you can get out there. I usually find for somebody who is doing a lot of whole food, you know, nourishing type of eating. A good blender is a really nice thing to have, but you can use a really basic one as well. I have a Blendtec and it comes with this smaller like to-go cup, I think it's called, with a little attachment that can really quickly make a smaller amount. And then this cup or this lid that's really easy to pour out of. So that's usually what I use when I make these. And this works best since it blends upside down. You put the chunkier stuff in first. So I'm gonna start with berries. You can either do fresh berries or frozen berries. You can do so many different kinds of fruit. When it's the off season and there's not a lot of fresh stuff available, then I usually go to organic frozen berries. So I'm gonna be doing some blueberries today, but we also like doing strawberries, peaches, pineapple, you know, pretty much whatever is tasty. And it's really nice to have variety to change it up a lot. So I'm gonna start by adding some of these. Next, I'm going to add a couple things that I always like to add in. The first thing is some organic virgin coconut oil. Usually just do a nice big generous lop of that, or a spoonful, I guess maybe sounds a little nicer. That's one of the things that I love about smoothies is that you can hide all kinds of things in there. I've even seen some people hiding raw liver in smoothies. You could try it. I tried it and I could still taste it, so I prefer to just swallow that raw. But you can get creative and hide quite a few things. The next thing that I like to add are are some egg yolks. Now these come from our chickens, so I trust that they're very healthy, very fresh. You just wanna make sure that your egg yolks are from somewhere that you trust if you're having them raw. And then after that, I go ahead and add the kefir. And this is homemade kefir that I make from my raw milk. I always have a jar of it going back there on the counter. If you're not quite up to kefir on the GAPS diet, you can also use homemade raw milk yogurt. I like sticking with kefir since it is more abundant in those beneficial bacteria strains as well as lots of beneficial yeast strains, which are so important for gut health. And then for this one, you just screw this little attachment on. So then you just put this part onto the blender and turn it on. I have a smoothie setting on this blender and then it will blend it up. And then when it's done, it's ready to enjoy. For toddlers and littler kids, I really love these silicone squeezies. This one already has some strawberry in it from before, so I'm just gonna top it off with blueberry. This makes it really easy for them to enjoy smoothies mess-free. So there you go, that's the kind that we make most of the time, is different changing the fruit and adding egg yolks, coconut oil. And there are other variations that you can try too if you want more of a dessert type of a smoothie. You could add, you could keep the coconut oil and egg yolks in there, because why not? Might as well add nutrition wherever you can, right? And then you could add a little bit of vanilla extract. That could make it more like a vanilla smoothie. You might, depending on where you're at and what you're tolerating as far as sweetness, you could add some banana in there with the vanilla extract and then that makes it kind of like a vanilla milkshake. If you've been on full gaps for a while and you know that you tolerate it, you could also add a little bit of cocoa powder, maybe with some banana and some vanilla extract, and that's like a chocolate smoothie slash milkshake. Again, these are more dessert type of items, so you'd see them more as, you know, treats after you've had all of your other foods, not replacements for meals or anything. And then you could also try adding some peanut butter in there with banana and maybe a little bit of vanilla extract 
perfect for like a peanut butter type of one. Lots of different ways you can go, you know, just get creative and enjoy it. And then don't forget the huge variety that you have for fruit too. Like I said, strawberries, pineapples, peaches, cherries, all different kinds of berries and just really have fun with it. What I love about especially making it with kefir, which is the more powerful probiotic one between yogurt and kefir, is that it's a really great way to start enjoying fruit when you're moving towards that while still having a lot of that friendly bacteria to kind of eat some of that sweetness for you. So sometimes people will have trouble when they're moving on to fruit and they find that they have some old symptoms kind of flare up or tend towards that when they're adding fruit, but if they have it mixed with plenty of kefir like this, then it's much better and they don't get those symptoms because they are having those friendly yeasts and bacteria in there at the same time. So that can be helpful. All right, I hope that you enjoyed seeing how we like to make GAP smoothies and I hope that you enjoyed those other ideas for variations that you can try whenever you're to the point where you're ready for those different things, of course. Check out that description box for the blender that I have as well as links to free eBooks and other goodies. I also have a GAPS diet meal plan and a complete program that takes you through the GAPS diet. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.